I always tell people, okay, with, you see with music industry, yeah, or someone can help you to put you in. But put me on, I've got a new song. Yeah. They can try to do it, but then it might not work if you don't belong. So I just always tell people, okay, keep pushing, but always pray and know, you'll see if I'm better, you're supposed to be in, you're going to be in with or without anyone's help. DJ School Live presents... Welcome everybody, watch, um, like, share, subscribe, you have to grow this community, click on the subscription button, click on the uh, notification bell so you know when we're dropping brand new videos. I'm quite excited because when you see the studio, you know I'm talking to uh, entertainers, I'm talking to musicians, I'm talking to producers, DJs, and everybody's really hustling. We've all been giving all these gifts by God and we, we, we make use of them. Some people out there are dancers, some people are writers, are authors, they are speakers, they are producers. Some people are in crypto, some people are traders, some people are entrepreneurs, some people sing, some people do all sorts of different things. So in this new world of um, virtual online world, what are you building? Are you going to only consume content or are you also going to take advantage and um, create content? That's what we're doing. So we're creating as much content as possible. Uh, the brother that I have here next to me, I've been looking forward to meeting him and I just met him for the first time today, guys. Can you imagine? And I met him, it seemed as if like I knew him for so many years. And it's because I always see his posts on social media and I've been liking his work from a distance. And we've just met in jail. And I think they always say it's energy and it's spirits. Where when you meet, you don't, there doesn't even, you, there hasn't, the about King, you don't have to even have to put in too much effort. You can just gel and just feel each other's energies are positive, they're calm, they're humble. And I'm very humbled and blessed to meet my brother, Chima Music. His real name is Colin Ndala Mota. He's a well-known producer and entrepreneur. He's a DJ. Chima Music, that is his famous, famous name. He, his fame rose from his first online single back in 2011. Uh, he's a winner of three remix competitions conducted by Soul Candy, Black Hole Entertainment and Castle Light. He started playing in different DJ, uh, releasing DJ compilations, playing on DJ, different radio shows. Currently, Chima Music runs his own digital label called um, Chima Music Records Digital and works with major labels as a producer, remixer, and a DJ. He's released a CD with Sony, compilation of popular DJs and producers. 2013 solo CD earned him two music awards from Metro FM Awards. And he's just been growing. He's been nominated for the South African Music Awards under the category of Best Remix on the, uh, uh, on the um, album Yemi Casa. He's a qualified radio personnel. He's got a diploma, uh, accreditations and certifications and uh, qualifications from Boston Media House. He's also studied anal chemistry, anal chem, we used to call it, analytical chemistry, Gotswana University of Technology. Um, he's done a lot of work with Uni, uh, Louis Vega, Martin at Jazz, Vinnie Da Vinci, Oskido. He's worked with Black Coffee. He's worked with DJ Christos, Monique Bingham, Ralph Gam. He's worked with Glenn Lewis, my boy Shimza. He's worked with Charles Webster. He's traveled all over the world, the UK, Europe, Greece, Dubai, America. He's been everywhere, television, radio, you guys know him, you see him at gigs all the time. Chama Music is right here on DJ Spool Live. Shapo Jong Otia. Shapo, but that was it. Finally, I meet you, bro. No, finally, we meet this person. Because we've met before, you know, this digital space, you feel like you met someone before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, Inshallah Ram Kalebo Otia. Uh, thanks, Rodman, for the invite. I'm honored. <laughs> so, hence, I'm going to talk about this podcast. I kind of feel... But mm. but because I'm yeah. a student of the game, I'm yeah. always observing the game. Yeah. So every time when I get to meet you guys, like it really makes me happy, especially um the fact that you would respect me and just at least uh, donate some time of your busy schedule. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> no, it's actually for us. It's like an opportunity for us to okay talk to Khrotman while he's still here. You know. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you yeah, never yeah. know. You see this life, man. We we are all passing. So I'm like, oh, Cloth Man, invited. Let me go and do it. And it's something that's going to be online forever. Chances, you see? And that's the thing. Yeah, that's it's going to exist online forever. All these videos that we're doing, there's yeah. going to be generations. I'll be watching them 20 years from today. Yeah, exactly. So, so I appreciate that. And I appreciate that you've been a part of our house music culture in South Africa. You have worked from the bottom, from nothing. No, you You've guys paved, you guys paved the, the grounds for us, you know? During the times where you were really pushing music and DJing full time. That's when we saw, oh, it's possible. Someone can make a living out of this. When mm. when there's no jobs, especially you see Mzanzi now, there's no jobs. So it's, you just have talent to, to make a job for yourself, basically. 
It's it's a blessing, guys. We yeah. all come from nothing. We all come from the hood. We come from villages. Yeah. We come from this beautiful continent called Africa, and we all have got a dream. And I'm about to get into a story. I would like to know. Um, mm. Come on, Diman. Diman not a guy, and it's just his upbringing. And just take your time, my bra. Um, what the stories how? Not but lo lebo hafela. <laughs> Tell me, bro. Like, oh man, what's up, my bra? Stories how? No, my real names, as you said, Colin Dala Mota, Kijua Beggars for Limpopo. But Dr. Yeah. I grew up there. Uh, tennis school and everything I've done in Bergersford, except uh, obviously universities and stuff, because I didn't get And then I had to come to Joburg. So basically, I'm a, I'm, I grew up a church boy. I always loved music. I think my father bought me a piano when I was... Well, let's say year, around year 2000, and then I learned how to play somehow. No one even, I didn't even go to school to play that thing. Somehow, you know, when God is giving you something, you just, it just happens. It yeah. just happened. And then I learned how to produce. That's when I uh, made, made my first, maybe probably, I, I used to make, you know, wedding songs from Limpopo, those? Yeah. Yeah, I used to do that. Well, for, for the, for when I went to has evolved, yeah. but back in the day, it was sound like it was a job. No, it was a job. It was a job. It was a job. It was a job. It was a you see people blazing. Yeah, I used to do that for certain artists, and then from there, that's how I learned how to produce. And then when I came to Josie, that's when I now really started seeing, oh, I can actually start doing house because now my peers at school will listen to house. Wow, so your sound evolved from that sound yeah. to the way it sounds yeah. today. Yeah, because wow. you know, with piano, you learn how to play gospel and then jazz. And then from there, now when it's house, like, oh, just slow it down a little bit and make it simpler. Because with houses, you don't have to complicate it too much for people to relate. Because but how about related them as dance? They don't have time to be like checking every thing that you're doing in the back. It tries to keep it simple. So house was like, oh. This is something that I could do instead of the jazz where there's have, there has to be a live drum, there has to be so I can just go into studio alone, make a song and finish it. And then that's how I just got interested into in house and obviously Lenali push everything looks good, you know? Yeah. yeah. From a distance. Until you are in like, okay. <laughs> who were you listening to those times? No, we used to listen to Lena, Wo Fresh, Wo Yeah, Tlio and Wo well, Christos, obviously, Nelly got a compilation. What, what, yeah. what, Lord, what, Terence, what, China. Those are those are the, the times. What, what, Monde, what, Umbuso. Yeah, those are the people that we used to listen to. That is so dope. Like those days defined an era, you know. Exactly. That's why I always say, like, I love, I love it, I love that. Right now, internet, I think it has also decentralized music. Yeah. Uh, there is a community at Deep House. There is a community at Afro. There's a community of piano, which is obviously the biggest the currently. The biggest now, yeah. And there's a community of just different genres of this African sound. So you're free Afro to do beats. whatever you love, in a way. Yeah, yeah, everyone has got their own niche, mm, you yeah. know? And that's what I want to hear from you right yeah. now. What is your take on uh, currently what's, what's not only what's trending, but yeah. what's happening, all, all these different sounds? Uh, uh, I, li- I, I love it, actually. Because now that's, that's uh, with me, I always chose to just stick to, to that small niche house, deep house. Because I felt like, okay, cool. This is what I really love. Because even when I started, I did it because I love it. Because I basically to take a study, study analytical chemistry. So <laughs> when I did music, I wasn't like, yo, yo, yo. But then I had to now start doing it, especially after my, my father passed away in 2005. Because now I had to say, okay, I need to start paying for my own fees. Wait, hide, I hide, 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 and then now the talent had to step in. And can it, the Budima just makes things things work. Then you start getting gigs. You're like, oh, okay. Now I'm able to pay for my fees. All right, cool. So, no, when I do music, because most people by change, I get it, they go to us trending. So, when I, when I remain there, I become, we become fewer. Mm. And obviously, you can't play the same genre the whole night. Yeah. So, most of the guys who do the trending genre, they'll book me to play maybe eight, nine. Yes, yes. And then I open for them, so they come and they rock. So, I think I love what's happening, especially with lockdown also. It made people start listening to music that they really love, not because... Uh, they see someone playing it elsewhere. So it's something that you really have to search yourself and listen to. So it brought many people back to actually Deep House. Because mm. when, I, when I checked my streams during lockdown, they were, they went, they shot, they started going up. Mm. Yeah. Lockdown, I, I've been 
I did a, a couple of interviews and some yeah. gigs with uh, Oscar Mbo. Yeah. And he was just telling me about how his numbers were just growing during the lockdown time. Exactly. Uh, I think Oscar Mbo is actually one of the first podcasters in the country. Way before everybody else. Yeah. Back in the days when he used to record mixes. Yeah. He used, used, to, stay in Pretoria. He used to stay in Pretoria. We met, used to come to my studio. He used to... Kind of go level Aphrodisia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember in my first music video, Oscar used to be like... Always, almost always at my studio, because he loved house so much. So yeah. now, when when you see them growing and doing that, like wow, God works in mysterious ways, and then we become happy, we become all hopeful that things are gonna go way up. And it's a beautiful yeah. niche. It's a, very. Yeah, it's a beautiful very. niche. I mean, look, I know some gigs I get booked, Le Khrutman, Vini, mm. some gigs, Le Khrutman, Christos, Bosa, LSG. Yeah. But there's a lot of guys actually that are in the deep house space. And actually, I think some of us were lucky to to get into the industry at that time, about, about 2011, 2012. Because being a producer was still not popular. So even now, you don't have to push too hard, keep releasing music too much to, for people to start booking you. Like check out Vini Crystals, they, they stop releasing compilations. Yeah. But Gig Guide? Yeah. Yeah. Because well, yeah. they've earned that. Uh, you know that when you, I book this guy, it's going to play this kind of sound. Yeah. You don't get confused. Or, okay, I'm going to feel like a hip hop. Yeah. Well, yeah so yeah. you book them knowing what they're going to play. So now with the fact that during that era, about 2010, 2011, 2012, the gap was nice and beautiful. I remember it. I was like, I'm going to go to the couple. I'm going to go to the that's when we got introduced to the industry as producers. So your all the radio stations, I don't want to show your house anywhere. They'll play our songs because now house was starting to really be alive in South Africa. Because remember most of the time they produce like a rock yeah, compilations, yeah. you know, where you you license from. So now we it's South Africa. Now those uh, the the legends from that side now they are the ones coming to us and saying, "Yo, I hear your song. Let's work together." And they look back like, "Damn, who would have thought that?" Uh, uh, I can get a call and say hello. I say, yo, this Louis Vega man, I just got your number. I'm like, okay, let's have a meeting. I, oh damn, really? I remember just 2015 when Louis called me. I, I I don't know he got my number, so I went to meet to meet him. And then we started working together since. I was like, no man, that time of 2010, 2011, 2013, it was a very important era of house. It's, it's beautiful to see that house still ha- holds its own. Exactly. If, even in the, the rise of um, other genres. Still there. Um, I would like to also know, I always say to people, my mm. opinions when it comes to our biggest genre being a piano is yeah. I'm, I'm so happy that finally we've got a sound that is exported to all over the world. Exactly. That and is sort of raising like, eyebrows, you know? Yeah. I want to hear your take on um, collabor- collaborating with uh, the Amapiano guys and just yeah. your take on the sound and the ev- evolution of the music. Actually, now I'm a, I'm a, I love Amapiano now because of it's coming to back to, like it's a going back to house. If you listen now, remember when it started Amapiano, it was more street kind of my piano. Even the, they were using uh, vulgar words, you know, but now it's really music. You know? It's more musical. Now. It's more musical now. Everything is... It's now musical and this, the, the gens are now mastering their songs. They sound clear when you play them. You don't have to be equal. Remember, there was a time when I'm a piano DJ was playing. They, they'll equalize the mixer when they're playing. The, the, the highs will be red lights they're on the mixer. Now, you can play it nicely song on, on radio, radio songs. They shoot beautiful music videos. So it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, trends evolve. I remember it was the yeah. same. Kwaito, as a student of Kwaito, someone was a fan of Kwaito. Yeah. There was just that hardcore rough Kwaito, and it also evolved into an era of um, Bo LM Jam, Bo Mdu, Bo Tlaradu Piano, Bo Spikere. Yeah. And it came to, I mean, actually Kwaito evolved into Afro pop. This is according to my own opinion. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, argue, it's, uh, barking. Uh, it can create an argument. Somebody yeah. else can say no. Yeah. But I believe. Afro pop has got a lot of elements from Kwaito, Kwaito. where yeah. they was uh, uh, they featured more vocalists, it became more musical. Yeah. From it being only hardcore, yeah. And, yeah. and then you, and then you'd have those jams, Khedza bo Mahrutman bo LM jam. Yeah. Which are more calm. Because Mtu played it. Yeah. Li Li Brothers of Peace, if you remember that baseline, yeah. 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 Bruce. Yeah. Sibito. Yeah. Um. Bo Mahuta. And just that evolution, yeah, Kwaito, it came and the music sort of became more and more and more musical. Even with Barking, I can never forget TKZ. Yeah. So when TKZ came and they even sophisticated Kwaito even more. You know what I mean? 
So it's beautiful to see this thing. History repeats, repeats itself. I remember those times. Yeah. And then it be, it became quite a, came became a little bit of house actually also as time yeah. went. Then it's just nice to see the music evolving. So whatever happens, I don't think anyone should feel threatened and be like, ah, yeah. you no, know, there's no hate. It's all love. It's just music, be music, you know, evolving. Yeah, Lin, yeah, that's my mindset. Yeah. And that is my approach. And I cannot believe everyone has got a space. Definitely. And even when people say they want to go international, I'm like, but mm. you're already international. You're online, bro. Oli, Oli, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes I always kind of believe, like, rather focus here where you are loved, yeah. where you've got an audience, yeah. and then create numbers here. Yeah. That buzz will then create other gigs out there. But when you've been traveling for over a decade overseas, your yeah. overseas experiences? Uh, I think that side with, with our sound... With how with, with deep house it's not too big because their clubs are very small, so most of their venues are not as big for deep house. So that that's why the Afro tech guys are killing it that side, because they are it's high energy. So with, when you come with deep house, it's they love it, but then it's like you know underground. It's more underground like your kitcheners kind of experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but it's beautiful to just see it, go and meet these people, realize how how they really know you. Like bro, always followed your music. You're like oh damn, internet. Yeah. And then what are you currently busy with? Uh, cause I'm I'm a, I'm a mixing and mastering engineer, so I'm always busy with most of this. I'm a piano artist, and these house guys they always send their stuff, so I'm always in studio mixing, mastering, mixing, mastering. That's my day job now. Yeah, yeah. Before they hacked my my Twitter, uh, I know you had dropped some <laughs> some, some work. You uh, hacked? Yeah, I was hacked, my man. I still don't have it back yet. I'm still fighting trying to get it back. It's taking forever, but uh, but I'm hoping I'm eventually gonna get it back. Yeah, uh, I follow you. Yeah, so I do know that from time to time, work work music. Yeah, but you're right. I haven't I've, next time I wanna content they are too much. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't been on Twitter for like maybe two months now. Yeah, um, yeah. So what I wanna know is new mm. music. Yeah, I dropped uh, your last music. Year. Yeah, I dropped last year. Yeah, that's September. the last stuff that I, yeah I saw. That's yeah, the last unfortunately, I I got three nominations from the summers this year. So by the end of July. Congrats, by the way. Yeah. I was talking about your nomination last week. Mm. Really? Oh, man, Linda, I, I, it's just God. Linda, because I was like, uh, I just dropped the album. It was during lockdown. Was it? Yeah. In lockdown, but not hard lockdown. It was starting to open up a little bit. But I just dropped it. I didn't do launches and stuff because obviously restrictions. I just dropped it and looked away. So when it got nominated, I was like, oh, wow. This God's work. Yeah. Some of the things you can just say... Like yeah. you say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> family? Family? Ah, uh, no, I don't have... Uh, my, oh, you mean my mom and... No, see, family no, from... I don't, oh, I don't have... Uh, I don't have at the moment. Okay. Yeah. I think I took a little bit step back just to to deal with life differently. Build a career, no? Yeah, build a career. You know, you need stability. You need uh, to be sure. When you do something, it has to be something that you show off. So, guys, our entertainment industry can be challenging at times. Our entertainment yeah. industry is it is what you make of it. But um, I always say to people, like, we are no longer living in the moment. Yes, we always are chasing the next thing. We're chasing success. We want to be better. But sometimes, just, you know, take a yeah. pause to appreciate <laughs> the blessings that God has given. So, I kind of feel yeah. we've been blessed, out here to make a living out of what we love. Big a lot time. of people out there are miserable. You know? mm, big time. What would you like to say to my, to my chiteng among out there who've got dreams, you know? No, I always say, I believe. Wanna, OC, actually. Yeah, I always tell people just when when you have someone who prays, some somehow you get you get messages where you so you will know which the path that you're taking if it's correct or not. Your instincts. Let's Allah leba high, Yeah. You are in touch with yourself. So I always tell people, okay, with, you see, with music industry, someone can help you to put you in. But then put me on. I've got a new song. Yeah. They can try to do it, but then it might not work if you don't belong. So I just always tell people, okay. Keep pushing, but always pray and know. You'll see if I'm better, you're supposed to be in. You're going to be in with or without anyone's help. Because I remember how I got in. I don't even know. Because I didn't ask for a favor from anyone. I just released a song, put it on SoundCloud. And then from there, just people, it just started booming, 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 booming. I'm like, oh, cool. Another one. Next thing, remixes. The next thing, people start booking me. So it's the consistency of putting out yeah, the work, ne? Yeah, just the consistency and also just being... Uh, being a being a nice person also helps because mm, you mm. and you accept if things don't work, you do something else. That's why I'm, I I know you diversify a lot. Whatever you use your time to do something that's that's gonna be in future. You can say I started somewhere, so there mustn't be. A, I always say don't be scared to start small. Yeah, yeah, start small. Get those uh, two followers on Twitter. Next thing, if you do something that they love, 
200. If you keep on doing it, 2,000. You know, even for me, I always check. Like, I'm, I'm not a... I don't think I'm a celebrity. Yo, you've got big numbers, bro. Yeah, but yeah, when I check the followers for, for Deep House, I'm like, okay, 100 and something, actually, four, almost 500,000 followers for Deep, for a deep House, big, bro, for a deep house big, DJ. Bro. I'm like, okay. Because I check the other OGs who have been doing it. Their numbers are, are little and they are very good. They're excellent. And I always check my talent. Like, you know, I'm not really, when I'm, when I'm alone, that's me when I'm alone. I'm not one of the best pro producers. I wonder how, why, why is it working out for me? And someone else will be so talented, but still there are, there are things that are not running there. You know? mm. So I'll be like, ah, man, there's something that God is just trying to show you that, you know, it's all grace. Yeah. Yeah, you can't say I've done it with my own strength. No, I don't, I never say that. Just like when I mu make music, another thing that I, I don't do, when I don't feel like that feeling is not there, I don't force myself to go into the stu studio. Yeah, Len, I don't never yeah, force music. No. No, that's why I, I think the reason why I never signed with a major label. So you're still independent? Yeah, since okay. the beginning. When they said contract, I always, they'll say, okay, four albums. Okay. And then I'll, I'll struggle to keep up with that. So I, I, I knew myself that I won't be able to do it. And then I just stepped back. I was like, no, I feel like I'm still studying. I want to work at my own pace. And I knew that my inspiration comes sometimes, sometimes it's not there at all. Yeah. There are people who are able to work under pressure, but with me I know I'm not I'm not good at working under pressure. So just stepped back and then became independent and everything that's happening and I then, just try by myself. But how do you work then? Do you work with the DSPs directly or yeah, do you I work with the DSP now directly, which is Believe Backstage. I've been with them for quite some time. I think they just saw my numbers growing, growing and they're like, Come, all your music you can drop here. And also other guys that have been dropping for um, Brazo Africa, you know, Bo Technique, Bo DJ Forty. That's those are the guys I, I started with in the beginning. About twenty months, oh, 2012, 2011, something. I love their sound, man. Yeah, the Technique, yeah. Technique, <laughs> my brother. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was with, I was with that guy yesterday. I was, I was playing yeah. in, in my melody. Came through. Ah, I mean, I've got this new remix that he just gave me, man. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Afrotech kind of ah, beautiful. Ah. And he's been doing it forever. Yeah. Remember the times of Gemini Boys? Yeah. Nearly born like it. Oh, is it? From <laughs> yeah. back then? <laughs> yeah, give him no technique. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's amazing. I'm a big fan. Lee and I follow him on social media. Yeah, he's, he's a talented producer. My brother talk about me. I hope these sisters are not giving you a problem. Or monorail, get a type of But I'm not going to have problem. Technique. They do. And when we talk all the time, we always talk about that. Yeah. Because you're like, I'm going to talk. What's going on? Like, it's it a problem. It's not easy, especially when you're in our industry. Because uh, another thing, you get something serious and then you get someone who's like, hmm, DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, they yeah, always yeah. die and then you have to donate for, for them this one. Yeah. They, no, they, it's, it's not easy. And also, maybe you go to a gig, a thing, and then you say, hey, DJ, so ever there, there's always... And it's not, all, it's not the case. Yeah. I don't, I don't have that kind of... With myself, I can say confidently on this YouTube that I don't have the kind of history or wherever I go, there's... Wherever I go, there is no. I yeah. don't. It's not all of us. Yeah. No. I totally agree. Lynn, I was like that. Yeah. I always looked after myself in the industry. Exactly. I've always just been, I've always working. You know? Yeah, I like it. No. Yeah, and turn to be little ass sometimes. <laughs> and turn to, to protect, you know what I mean? Yeah, protect your spirit. I think if you are yeah. a spiritual person, you know very well that you can't just keep going everywhere, in and out, in yeah. and out. Yeah, it's not good for you, for your well being also. Yeah, Lena. Yeah. And when I was younger, now I was more of a relationship person. So when I'm in a relationship, I'm in. Focus there. And then yeah. I know that at least I focus on my house of Markikai. Yeah, that's exactly how I use <coughs> it. I'm, how I'm doing actually myself too. When I'm in a relationship, I'm in it in that. Yeah. Yeah. And I always say machita pa. Not only machita in our industry, even mm. like leaders. Lema chor. Lema tamarona. Yeah. Uh, the biggest fall of the most biggest men or the most successful Basadi. men. Well, it's their small head. <laughs> I wouldn't say blame our sisters, but blame our irresponsibility of not being able to control our, yeah, um, you know, Ish. sexual emotions. Yeah, and but of course, many people have. I always say this thing: learn from other people's mistakes. That's why you know about those mistakes. Yeah. Check how they they go they go down. Check how they get they get broke. About the Magadi Gaji we got married to her mother could have taken and invested in a, in a business. Yeah. So learn from those and then keep keep low key. Also, that's another thing. I don't want to be... I want with me, my character. I And then trending every day on social media for doing this, trending. Because I feel like that's in a stress and it, it becomes addictive for many people. And that's why I live under the depression and then 
eventually I no cope because people are too Yeah. Right? yeah. Just be genuine. If you are with, yeah. with, when people, I always say when people are love my music, it's not like they love me. They love the music. So I mustn't forget. Now and then I act like I'm the music. Yeah. So I say, yeah. yeah. Say people are too much like no. It's like it's gonna be a hey, nice song. Yeah. I appreciate the fact that I'm a vessel. Yeah, I'm a vessel. To be able to bring this amazing work of God to you. And mm. I didn't have to think. That's why I'm saying inspiration, that thing, it get dropped. I can tell that something drops a song in my mind. So I can't say, oh, I thought so hard. I wrote down. I don't write anything down. I just get in. Poof, 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 poof. That's why I don't take time when I make music. When the ideas that I can take four hours sometimes with a song. I remember Kapina mm. speak Lord, Eki Chunetin. Remix yeah, will. Yeah, yeah, which will. people are loving now. So I will is to proud of you, bro. <laughs> Study local FM. Yeah, <laughs> I worked with Fresh for many years. Yeah, and then he moved to the SABC. So I'm just so proud of the sculptured music. I'm yeah. proud of their label, and yeah. I'm just proud of how he's matured in his sound. Very people good. don't know that actually Willy does not only just make music Willy when it comes to radio production, mm. jingles, radio adverts, voiceovers, that type of work. He's like, been at it. He's been at it and he's one of the best in the country. Yeah, so when I did that remix, it took me maybe four hours. I was done. Like, as in production to the last, because I've, I've also learned to do everything by myself. Mastering and stuff, obviously, because we, we used to struggle with budgets, not signed. So I had to learn to do every, the hard way to do everything myself. But they come out sounding good. So I did that song in a few hours, done. Out. So yeah. I can't say it was... No, I never thought of anything. Yeah. Yeah, it just came. So I can't let now when, when the song is doing well and then I say, no, it's me. It's me. It's me. Yo, first time, are yeah. you a spiritual person? Yeah, yeah. I go to church once in a while. Yeah. Obviously, lockdown came and then it made us realize that God is personal. Even in your own space, you can. So, yeah. Yeah, I pray from home. When I've got time, I'll go to church just to fellowship and I hear what's happening. But I'm. I'm, I'm a very spiritual person. I believe love in God you. a lot, yeah. No, I love yeah. you. Yeah. Ah, I can't move. Not yet. Ah. Yo, yo, yo. yo. <laughs> yeah, not I, started, I started I'm 32. Late. I started at 34. Yeah, I'm 32. So ah, I still have time. I've got two years to go. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool, it's cool. <laughs> and it's good because you're ready now, you know? Yeah. You're exactly. older, you've at least built yourself, yeah. you know? Sometimes I always say, I mean, you can't tell people what to do with their lives. No, but I always, no. not for my life, said, I, I don't want to get you a excellent one. Yeah. You know, I'm going to say, I'm at least. It's a sharp. Yeah. You know, everything is sharp. So I had to make sure that maybe I get get my own house, paid off, whatever I get, no no debit orders, then I can say. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Something like that. So yeah. I'm hoping, yeah, but I, I think I'm ready now. No, you're going to be blessed, yeah. my brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure ready. I can have a kid. And then other things that you do outside of music? Uh, I used to actually. I just post a little bit. I was se- buying and selling cars. Oh, nice! Yeah, auction. Buy, yeah, I'll buy from auction and other people places, yeah. different places, buy and sell, fix. And I used to do that a lot before lockdown, which was a very good business on my side, because I just used my following to. Then people trusted me, so I did that a lot. But still, music still does the most for me. Yeah, music yeah. opens all the doors. Yeah, it opens all the doors. So trying to look now. If, Started a company when I go into construction, stuff like that. You know, just I also just want to be busy now. I don't want to be sitting in studio all the time, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, Lynn, I'm, I've got some uh, interesting mm. real estate property projects that we're busy with, and I'm learning so much because I'm I haven't really been mm. fully involved in that space. You yeah. Know? But now I'm learning so much, bro. So but you're never too old to learn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's a beautiful thing that you're also looking into. Yeah, I'm into looking into doing almost everything that I'm able to do. Life is too short, you know. What are I am or anything? Keep doing something. Be like, busy with something. Keep going. Yeah. So I refuse to say life is too short. Now get up here. Like it's only been like. But you never know how long. <laughs> but it's I know what you mean. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. when you wake up today, it's car age procrastination. I tell you, No. Yeah. Wake up and do get get it done. And appreciate that you're alive and keep it moving. Keep yeah. it moving. Yeah. Musical inspirations. Uh, music musical inspirations. Uh, yo, I listen to a lot of jazz, uh, Bo, Vega, elements of life, and but I still find myself in my car listening to a lot of gospel still. I don't know, that, that seed that was planted when I was young yeah. really just stayed there because I play so little house in the car. Serious? Okay. I'll listen to a song that maybe I just download if I to just see where I'm going to place it in, in my set. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's gone. I used to have it when I was still. Very young, maybe couple twenty one, twenty two. Now it's gone. How how is the music looking like in twenty twenty five, which is 2025. three years from today, 
And how do you think it's going to look like in, in, in 2030, which mm. is eight years from today? Uh, house music is going to grow, definitely. It's, it's growing every day, it's growing. And obviously, there's now young. I, I like the fact that South Africa now is pro- producing more producers. The young boys who are, do, are doing mu- music now, it's a lot of them. And they are very good because it's at least I get to work with them because when they require mixing or mastering, they send to me. So I get to hear songs that will come out next year. Yeah. So I can trust me, house is starting to sound better and better and better. Nice. Yeah. Five things that a new house music producer should know or should have. Five things. Five things. A starting one. Mm. Someone who's brand new. You mean as in the equipment or you mean or the character? Uh, yeah, equipment. Let's talk about equipment, equipment. actually. Yeah. I think character, we speak about it a lot. Let's talk about equipment, yeah. Because uh, sometimes some of the guys, you know, we all use whatever we can use, but we're always looking up to you guys who are in the game. What, 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 sometimes what, what, we're interested to know what Uspan is saying. That's yeah. why when you guys yeah. post on Instagram, sometimes we check we your check studios, what, you know. Yeah, okay. I'll say, firstly, you must have a very good computer that's not going to crash while you, you're in the middle of a project. Because if it crashes, you lose it. I think that's <laughs> that's how I lost many songs that were supposed to be good and then gone, boom. Uspan is saying, Mac. Yeah, and I Spanish PC next okay. college. Yeah, oh. no. Sometimes I use Mac or that thing. So another thing I would say, King, uh, invest in acoustics for Rosa Valley Reverb. You see now, there's these things really work panels. So invest in those. Your room must be there. No reverb, so you can whatever you, you hear in the studio must be what's really gonna play. You you don't get reverbs and then outside there's no reverb, so your song won't sound good. Also get nice monitors, studio monitors. And also sound card. Sound card is very important. Uh, another thing that you should do all the time, uh, always have, have, have someone who's going to be subjective. Like don't always have friends who, who praise Agree you. to everything, yeah. yeah. Find someone who's going to come and say, my friend, I think this is... Or at least then get someone to mix projects for you and master them. Don't try to do everything. And also you don't have to release a song every week. Mm. Give it time for marketing. Give it... Ask us, man. We are all on social media. They can take you all the time and say, Krotman, what what do you think of this song? And I'm, I'm sure sometimes our drivers so, or Udutimo Koloing or Kuntung Usero Fogu, you can always listen and say, give an opinion. Oh, nice. And that's a, that's the drive now. Social media is... Yeah. yeah. Apart from social media, five recommended music apps from you to Majita out there. Five recommended music apps for DJs, music, uh, DJs producers, oh, and musicians. Where they can there. upload music and sell. And yeah. Yeah, I think like ben, the apps that you say you need them as a, as a, as a DJ. As like, yeah, as a DJ. Obviously, I'll say Bandcamp because that's where people release songs uh, before they release them. Because sometimes as a DJ, you want to break a record, like play a song that I'm sure during your times of Gadi Vinyls, you wanted to be the first one to play it. Yeah, so yeah. So Bandcamp is something like that. And one thing I like about Bandcamp, people who buy the, the money goes straight to you. The same, maybe after two days, you get your money. So if you've got a nice song, you can really make money there before it's leaked because now we're dealing with piracy. So I'll say Bandcamp, TrackSource, uh, Beatport, and also... Bandcamp, BeatSource. TrackSource. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, uh, yeah Bandcamp, Beat, Bandcamp, Beatport, TrackSource. TrackSource, and also obviously your iTunes, you can you can have those on your phone or Google Play. Something else, also YouTube. Go, go there and have YouTube and check how the, uh, the, the OG is playing. At this, this events, how they, they have got the energy, you know. That's how I'll say those. Are you educating yourself on music and NFTs? Yeah, I think I always read blockchain. Yeah, I think I I, I also wanna start to 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 do something which is uh, take now start capturing footage when I make music. I have cameras and start start from scratch, and then I can make a course out of it with the little knowledge that I have, and also but now. I'm, also trying to learn how to play maybe a bass guitar like i wanna just grow my my music musical knowledge because i'm still i'm also still a learner yeah yeah too much a learner yeah i always watch the ogs i'm like wow i've got an educational podcast called the hustlers corner yeah the day you feel you're ready to start doing master classes yeah or some educational music mm. some educational music content i'm yeah. open and i would love to collaborate ah thanks for man. you know that would be really dope yeah, to do like some master classes share knowledge to the younger guys to you help know? them they yeah definitely and we can uh, we can also call the legends to come and say oh bruce i feel i wouldn't tell you how you used to do this and then now how it has changed oh, mm. stuff like that mm. there's a lot to learn all the time and it's our it's our industry yeah we are the only ones who can try to grow it with the little that we have 
No, my bra, I appreciate yeah. you and thank you so much for your time. Let me just ask you to speak on camera. Go to Romela video A 2030. That's 80. No, no, not 2030. 2040. Okay. That's 18 years from Fandak. So my time, my time. Actually, we'll probably be, be grandfathers. Maybe. Yeah, you never no, know. In 2040, definitely. Oh, yes. <laughs> what would you like to say to yourself? I'll send you this video. Level that man is. You'll probably me. be in your future. Yeah. Yo, bro. <laughs> I'm sure now you are rich, eh? <laughs> <laughs> How many kids do you have? Three. Okay, beautiful home you got there. Oh, beach, beach house. Oh, nice boat, man. When are you buying the, that private jet now? Sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you, my bra. Yeah, thank you very much. Eh? Thank you for your time. Thank Cheers. you for visit all the best, my bra. Go achieve more, go grow. I'm looking forward to learning more from you and collaborating with you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for the inspiration. Then from now I know I'm going I'm going to work now. That master class must happen. Sure, and, and I'd also love to make some music with you. And thanks. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, no, I'd love why to. not? So yeah. too, you never let's know. You blend. Know? Yeah, just, was, not for just come anything, out. just for just to make it for the energy. For legacy, you know? yeah. yeah. I'd appreciate yeah, I'm enjoying it. this thing, man. Thank you for the drink. Ah, thank you. I didn't know that I needed it until I'm having it now. More fire. <laughs> more fire. Guys, have more music. I'll see you guys on the next video. Go out there for your, guys, for your dream. Musicians, go out there and make it happen. These people didn't just become Bochama music today. They had to put in work for many, 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 many years. And you can hear how he's, he's speaking as if it's Justin J. But what I love about him is that he's just open and he's honest about the journey. He's transparent about it. He's sharing his knowledge. He's sharing his knowledge of apps that he uses and some of the things that and he's even opening up himself to say, let's collaborate and do some music master classes so you guys can come meet us or learn from us on webinars so we can create content to share with you guys so you guys can become better. So you guys next day uh, working tomorrow, we can ask for your autographs or as tomorrow we can, you know, appreciate you guys and celebrate. You see you guys winning awards and winning Grammys since I heard my little black coffee has opened the way for all of us. I'll see you guys on the next video. God bless. Keep pushing. Press. Push. Panda. Thank you, son. DJ School Live presents.